Hey everybody, it's me, Jessie from Celebi Lace. Welcome to this video. I've been talked into it by quite a few people. And first of all, I just want to explain my absence. I didn't, I mean, I didn't mean to leave. I had to leave due to depression. And I also got pregnant. And I now have two. Uh, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I have two. This is Liddy Cat. Say hey. She says, Mama, what are you doing? This is Liddy Cat, and right here is my boy, Drew. Y'all met him a couple of years ago when I tried to do a video, but I just didn't keep up. Anyway, this is them. These two are, of course, my life. These are my babies. And before them, um, anxiety wasn't really my life, but, you know, I had that book about that. Uh, I had some anxiety issues, but not, not the way I had depression. And so... Puppy. That's right. And so I was going through my books the other day and I got this whole big stack of bipolar and depression and beating the blues, the how of happiness. I don't need these anymore. Frankly, I found my happiness right here. They definitely keep me so busy. I honestly don't have time for depression. I know my mind could slip back into that, but I'm not, I'm not going to believe that that's going to happen. For the first time in my life, um, I feel alive. I feel like I'm only four years old, like I've only been living for four years, because that's about how long my depression has been gone. So I'm going to give these books to someone who needs them. And the books did not cure my depression, not by a long shot, but they gave me hope. They gave me hope that depression can be cured. <laughs> and although medicine did not cure me, I tried some medicines. Some of the medicine made me really sick, uh, and I, I'm not a, I'm not an advocate for antidepressants by any means. I'd much rather do it without it, but I totally understand that sometimes you really do need them. But I want to tell y'all the, the the worst thing was when I took some medicine and I went manic. Um, I didn't know that I was manic, or when I was manic, and it lasted for about two months. And I actually was recording videos then, and I was recording lots and lots and lots and lots of videos. And then I just stopped. That's when I dropped off the face of the earth. Because right after that manic episode, when you're high on life, well, I was, was high on life, I got really, like just as high as I went, I went just that low, or even lower. I was at the, I was at the bottom of the bottom with depression. It was awful. Honestly, I would have killed myself if my mama didn't love me as much as she loves me. And I say that, um, I honestly can't believe that I say that, but it's true. She went on vacation, and this was when I was extremely depressed. She didn't realize it. Nobody realized how bad it was. I didn't even personally realize it until it was all over. Um, but anyway, get myself together. I did not kill myself because I didn't want my mama to come back from vacation and find me dead. And thank God, because I never would have had my baby. And they're my everything. So, hopefully we'll be doing some videos. Not crying. But I want to tell you too, if you are depressed or have anxiety, there is hope and it can end. So. Alright, I love y'all and I miss y'all very much. And of course, please subscribe. We got 94,000 subscribers. Let's make it to 100 before the end of the year. Alright, <laughs> love y'all. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Put your feet up. Put your feet on there. We can, we can run a race. <laughs>